Western Conference champions. Yes, sir. I am instant class A. I'm so happy right now. I am just in the greatest mood of all time right now. And we haven't even won the finals yet, which we probably will. But, um, yeah, as you can see, decked out in my gear. Happy. They got the trophy. As you can see, you see that real close. You can't really see that, but whatever. They got the trophy. Wonderful, 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 wonderful time for me. Uh, now we move on to the finals where we'll probably face either Detroit. Well, we will face Detroit or Boston. Looks like it may be the Boston Celtics. No one really likes them. Uh, they're not that good. You know what? I'll save that for another video. I was going to do something. I'll save that. But I am here to talk about wrestling because I haven't been up here since the Night of Judgment Day. And um, a lot has happened. And a lot is going to happen, especially this weekend and next weekend as well. Um, first thing I'd like to talk about is Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor has a pay-per-view coming up tomorrow night. Take No Prisoners. Looks really, really, really good. Um, some good matches on there I'm looking forward to. Uh, Roderick Strong versus Kevin Steen should be good. Um, the Briscoes versus the uh, Age of the Fall. And uh, pretty much a... Uh, Hardcore, you know, no rules match. Um, Brian Danson versus Austin Aries. That's going to be something special. And then, and what a lot of people were saying that was Tyler Black's best match so far. Uh, him versus Nigel McGinnis for the ROH World Title. So that should be a very good pay per view. I encourage everyone to get it. It's gotten for the people that have seen it so far. It's gotten very good reviews. Like I said, it's only like ten bucks. So definitely you know, spend your money on that. Um, another thing you should spend your money on regarding Ring of Honor is an amazing show I saw a couple weeks ago. I heard so many people on here raving about it. I said, let me check it out for myself. Super Card of Honor 3 is, you know, I haven't been watching Ring of Honor for the longest time like a lot of these other guys, but that's pretty much the best show I've ever seen. Um, top to bottom, this show was special. Every single match was good, and then there were some that were great, and then there were some that were awesome, um, like I said, definitely, that's worth your 20 bucks right there, definitely check that show out, um, it's gonna be, it, it, it was really good, and like I said, tomorrow night, bring them on a pay-per-view, that should be good as well, um, Saturday is gonna be a, a big day as well, Spike TV, they're doing pretty much like UFC Day. Um, I think they're going to do an Ultimate Fighter Marathon, so you can catch up on that if you haven't seen that. Um, and then they're doing Ultimate Iceman, I believe, where they're like um, profiling Chuck Liddell, which should be good. And then they're going to show um, Ultimate Knockouts 4, I believe it's 4. Um, I just finished watching 5, which was, was pretty good. Um, so that'll be good to check out. Also, Elite XC is coming on CBS. That's headlined by uh, Kimbo Slice versus James Thompson. Uh, I'm not the biggest. I'm not a fan of Kimbo Slice, but he is good. Um, and he should destroy James Thompson easily. But, like I said, we'll see what happens. That's on free TV, so definitely check that out because Elite XC is really good. Um, and then this Sunday, we got One Night Stand. So, might as well give you my run out of that. First of all, the pay-per-view doesn't look... It ain't worth your money, I'll tell you that much. I can easily say that. Um, oh yeah, let me give you a rundown of the matches and what I think of it. The stretcher match, Shawn Michaels versus Dave Batista. I really like this feud. I'm not into stretcher matches at all. I do like the hardcore style. Last year's stretcher match was good. Surprising ending by RVD winning, but of course it then got destroyed by Mr. RKO. Um, this match, who knows what it can do. Um, I'm just hoping this feud continues because I really like the way this feud is going. False count anywhere match Jeff Hardy versus Umaga. You know Jeff Hardy's going to do some crazy spot. He'll probably come up with the win. Um, like I said, there's nothing really for this match other than just to bring back Jeff Hardy and show him that he's still on top. First blood match John Cena versus JBL. Not looking forward to this match. It'll be uh, a stiff brawl, but nothing really special. Like I said, just because it's first blood doesn't mean anything. Um, but like I said, who knows? They could pull something, but I doubt it. Uh, Singapore King match: Sam Punk versus John Morrison versus Chavo Guerrero versus Tommy Dreamer versus Big Show. The winner gets the ECW title match. Like I said, I don't know.
know why they call it Singapore King. Is it going to be on the pole, or is it just like the theme of the match? Um, I mean, it's going to be hardcore. Uh, I don't know. I don't see Punk winning this. Maybe I'm going either Dreamer or Big Show on this. Uh, and I would pretty much... I'm going to say Dreamer in this match. Like I said, I really don't care, but I'm going to say Dreamer. Then we go to an I Quit match. The first ever I Quit match between females. Melina versus Beth Phoenix. This is going to be good um, for a women's match. Beth Phoenix will win this one. Uh, TLC match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge versus Undertaker. Don't really like Undertaker. and Well, the one he was in with Jeff Hardy. It was good, but, you know, he was in a different character at the time. So no telling what this character will do in the latter match. Um, but, you know... Even though it is the Undertaker, I, I never, I will never bet against Edge in a, a TLC match. So I'm going with him. Plus he's, you know, one of my favorites. So I definitely go with him. And then the last, what is this? Seven card, seven matches on the card. Uh, last man standing match for the WWE Championship: Randy Orton versus Triple H. They had a really good confrontation on Raw uh, this past week. This match, uh, they could have found something else to do. Uh, like I said, I'm sick of this feud. It's just, it's, it's no good, you know. I mean, they, decent matches, decent promos, but, you know, we've seen this far too long, and it's time to move on to something else. Move Randy Orton to SmackDown, please. I'm going to go with Randy Orton to win this. I know I'm stupid, but, hey, I won't bet against Randy Orton, and I should never do it again after, uh, WrestleMania. And then, um... Next week, Slammiversary, which I plan on ordering. That's what I'm planning on spending my money on because I love Slammiversary. Uh, it's always one of my favorite pay-per-views of the year. Um, it, it looks really good this year. King of the Mountain, which just got finalized tonight. Samoa Joe, Robert Rube, Booker T, Rhino, Christian Cage. That should be good because, you know, Christian Cage and Samoa Joe have been good in the ring before. Uh, Samoa Joe, yeah, Samoa Joe and Christian Cage, you know how they did last year. Uh, AJ Styles versus Kurt Angle. Everyone wants to see that. Hopefully, Kurt can pull off a good match with his bad, you know, neck and everything. Kaz versus Petey Williams. You know that's going to be a crazy X Division match. And then the tag team, tag team titles on the line with LAX and Team 3D. Like I said, as long as it doesn't turn into an electrified cage match, it will be good. So, uh, well, it should be good. Like I said, it will be. It should be good. And then that's, like I said, that's only four matches so far, and we, you know, got. You know, a, a, one more, well, that's kind of bad. They only got four matches with one week left. But still, you know, there's going to be some stuff added to here that, you know, will help this pay-per-view do good. And like I said, I plan on ordering it. Unless they pull off something really stupid within next week, which I doubt they have because I read the spoilers. Um, I'm going to waste my, not waste my money, but spend my money on Slammiversary. Uh, like I said, that should be a good pay-per-view. So, One Night Stand... I don't know. It's just is that's the throwaway pay per view. So is uh, what is it? The Night of Champions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, not worth the money. Um, Raw recently is it's been all right. I don't think it's been as great and as good as everyone said the past couple of weeks. Uh, decent match here and there, but nothing really to jump home about ECW. I've tuned out of ECW for the past. And I was into it for a while, but the past, like, month, I've tuned out of it. SmackDown is pretty much the only show I really watch because I can watch it at, like, an early time and not on Friday nights. Um, it's been decent the past couple of weeks. The last week, it was bad. I've seen the spoilers from this week. It's not that good. Impact has been getting slightly better, but it's still in that, you know, what the F was that zone. Um, but overall, like I said, going to be a great weekend for wrestling, sports. Great night for me. I still got some marking out to do. I'm gonna rewind this. I'm recording on my DVR. I'm gonna rewind this and watch the celebration again. So, uh, a couple of videos probably coming this weekend. Maybe one or maybe two with both reviews or whatever. But look out for me in the future. Until then, Instant Classic Eight and.